Hi guys, this is Kushbu. Welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we will see the question minimum operations to make array equal. You are given an array of length n where array of i is equivalent to 2 into i plus 1 for all the valid values of i. In one operation, you can select any two indices x and y and subtract 1 from array of x while adding 1 to array of y. That is, you perform these operations. The goal is to make all the elements of the array equal. It is guaranteed that all the elements of the arrays can be made equal using some operations. So, given an integer n, the length of the array, return the minimum number of operations needed to make all the elements of array equal. In the first example, we are given the input as 3 and so my array would be 1, 3 and 5. In the first operation, I can take these two and then increment this by 1 and decrement this which would make it 2, 3 and 4. In the second operation, I can again do the same thing and make it 3, 3 and 3. So this makes my array equal in two steps and so my answer is 2. If you take an input of n equal to 6, your answer would come out to be 9. So now, how can we solve this particular question? Let's try to derive something from the conditions that are given to us. So the first and the foremost thing is what is the value to which you will be changing all the other values and forming the equal array. So over here, you will take this middle value as you need not have to change this and you will change all the remaining values to make it equivalent to this particular value. Now there will be two cases while your n or your size is odd or even. If your n is odd, your middle value will contain only one element. But if your n is even, that would be a different case. So let's first try to focus on the odd n value. So over here I need to change everything into 5. So what I am going to do is I need to add 4, add 2, subtract 2 and subtract 4. So since I am doing my additions and subtractions in a pair, so I will just focus on the half of these values that is only these two values I can focus over here and so my answer would be 6 operations. Now how do I get this 6? So if you see this is 2 plus 4 which can also be rewritten as 2 multiplied by 1 plus 2. Now over here if you see this is a arithmetic progression that is I need the sum for n equal to 2 and this 2 would be nothing but my mid and my mid is nothing but n by 2 that is the n given to us 5 elements or 5 so 5 by 2 gives us floor value which is now this sum of mid can also be rewritten as mid into mid plus 1 by 2. That is the formula for finding the sum of n elements. So with this, this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled and my formula just remains to be mid into mid plus 1. So if my n is odd, I can simply say that I will require mid into mid plus 1 steps. Now let's go to even case. When my n is even, I have these two members which are lying in my mid and so my mid would be nothing but the mid of these two values that would be 6 and while I am changing everything to 6 I will be doing these operations and so similar cases we need to take only the first three or half of the operations and add the numbers over here to get our result because I am doing 5 addition, 3 addition and 1 addition over here. So total number of operations is 9. Now how do I get this 9? Mathematically if you see this is 1 plus 3 plus 5 which is also a progression and for this your formula is nothing but n square where my n is the mid that is given by n by 2 as we found out earlier. So over here 6 by 3 would be 3 and 3 square is 9 and so is our answer. So over here we can say that my formula would be mid multiplied by mid. So if you see both the formulas the difference is just about 1 which is for odd cases. So we can write that condition and get the answer for this particular problem. So let's just go ahead and quickly write the code for it. Initially I need a mid which would be n by 2 
and over here we need to use a ternary condition based on my odd and even factor. So I will return if my n mod 2 is 0 that is if it is a even case I can simply return mid multiplied by mid otherwise I need to do mid into mid plus 1. Now this condition can even shorten further by just using this n mod 2 in place of 1 and we can remove this condition from here. Let's run this code and it's giving a perfect result. Let's submit this and it got submitted. So the time complexity over here is O of 1 and also the space complexity is O of 1. So that's it for today guys. I hope you like the video and I'll see you in another one. So till then keep learning, keep coding.